In the previous videos, we looked at various editing tools in Smoke. But once the majority of the edit is in the sequence, you can use the trimming tools to refine and polish the edit. The next set of videos will cover the trimming tools. Let's start off with the general functionality. When doing most trimming chores, you will note that you are in SELECT mode. This mode lets you select clips, pick them up and move them around. However, this mode will not allow you to do any form of trimming. This is done to prevent accidents as you shift segments around the sequence. So you need to enable the Trim mode to do any trimming. To enter into the Trim mode, you switch the Editorial mode from SELECT to Trim. The Trim mode is mapped to the R keyboard shortcut. Now in Trim mode, you can do everything that SELECT mode does, but now you can also perform trimming. You also have a Trim view to see what is happening with the incoming and outgoing frames. To see the Trim view, switch the Viewer mode to Trim view or you can press OPTION 4. Alternatively, you can also just double-click on a transition and this will also bring up the Trim view. You will also see that the cursors now update when moving over transitions in the edit. These cursors allow you to perform gestural trimming on the edit. So you can go directly over to this cut and using the cursor, you can roll the incoming and outgoing frames. You can also drag the center of the trim view to the left or right to adjust the cut. Please pay attention to where you place the cursor on the cut. This will affect the type of trim function you use. For example, placing the cursor on the center of the cut and clicking will select both outgoing and incoming segments. You can now see the indicators on each side of the transition. This selection is also highlighted in the two offset frame sliders. So when you click and drag, you are rolling the edit. However, if you click on a specific head or tail of a segment, only that side is selected and showing an indicator. This is also highlighted in one of the offset frame sliders. When you start trimming, you are just trimming that segment. For example, just selecting the outgoing segment and dragging the cut to the left will create a gap. If Ripple was on and I performed the same trim operation again, the outgoing shot will be shortened. So pay attention to what you select as well as toggling Ripple on or off. The cursors and frame offset sliders in the trim view will also change colour depending whether Ripple is on or off. Remember that yellow is Ripple on for insert and red is Ripple off which is for overwrite. So you can gesturally trim by clicking and dragging the cursor over the transitions or by dragging in the trim view. You can also use the numerical buttons to trim a cut by one or five frames forward and back. If you have a full-size keyboard with a number pad, you can type the desired number of frames to trim the cut numerically. For example, type 7 into the number pad and press ENTER. The cut will trim by 7 frames. If you don't have a number pad on your keyboard, hold SHIFT OPTION and double-click on the transition to bring up the trim calculator. Type minus 7 with the numeric keys on your keyboard and ENTER. The cut will shift back 7 frames. You can also nudge the cut by 1 frame at a time using your keyboard. Press either the comma or full stop and the transition will shift by one frame in either direction. You can also use J and L to roll the transition point and see both incoming and outgoing frames update simultaneously. When you press the K keyboard shortcut to stop, the new cut will update at the point where you stopped. If you prefer, you can also press the PLAY button which will launch the single player view and start looping the cut so you can review the edit. But you can also use the comma and full stop keyboard shortcuts to adjust the transition by one frame. You do not need to stop playback. Every time you nudge the transition, the positioner will replay the cut. This helps you get a feel for the transition and the timing. When you stop the playback, you go back to the trim view. Being in trim mode, you can still use the transition buttons to navigate up and down the sequence. So there is no need to exit trim view while refining the edit. 
You can also simply double click on a cut to enable the trim view at that point. Holding Command, you can multi select cuts on any tracks to be included in the current trim. So, with regards to a sync group, when Link is enabled, all the segments in the group will be selected to be trimmed. But if you only want to trim one element of a sync group, like video for instance, hold Option and click the cut. This will temporarily disable the sync group and you can trim the video to create an offset edit without breaking the sync. To exit the trim view, switch to the different player or move the positioner off the transition. One last but not least function to mention is snapping a cut to the positioner. So place the positioner where the cut will snap to and select the cut you want to trim. Provided you have enough head or tail frames, press the E keyboard shortcut and the cut will snap to the positioner. When you have concluded your trimming, you can press the A keyboard shortcut to return to select mode to prevent any further trimming operations. Please move on to the next video to continue your smoke getting started experience.